So welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for joining and uh, listening or watching in uh, to this week's marketing session. Uh, today we're going to be joined by Jamie who is the uh, Commodore at Rip and Sailing Club and also a member of our Race Officials Academy. And we're going to be uh, having a bit of a discussion around what they've been doing at Ripon uh, through this current time to help their members feel engaged and communicated with uh, and just have a bit of a discussion around what comms uh, tools and marketing platforms they've been doing uh, or using to achieve this. So welcome, Jamie. Hi, Sam. Thanks for having me on. Um, so. You've obviously a while ago now, probably about the start of lockdown, we um, did a news article with yourselves around some of the pieces you put in place just to keep members engaged. Um, would you mind just giving a quick little recap about some of the uh, elements we covered in that? Yeah, sure. So um, when we came into lockdown, we realised quite quickly it was going to be important to keep our members in the loop with the, the changes and the requirements on site, um, as well as keeping them engaged, um, keeping them active in the club. So we um, we established a new weekly newsletter um, quite early on to, to complement our monthly Starboard Tack newsletter. Um, and we started setting up um, dedicated mailing lists within a sailing club manager um, so that important information went quickly to the people that needed it most. Yeah, yeah and what um, new sort of platforms have you been using to, to help with that sort of communication? Um, so, I mean, we, we've tried to take a really multi-channel approach because it's quite yeah. difficult to engage such a wide breadth of membership. Um, we've got members right from age two to 82. Um, so, we, you know, we, we, we appreciate that not everyone, not every solution works for everyone. Um, so yeah. we, we, we've got the multi-channel approach we take. We use Sailing Club Manager to manage our, our mailings. Um, direct to members. We have got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the socials going on that point back to our website. Um, and we've got the direct print media where available at the club. Uh, it's not always the easiest thing to update at the moment, but um, we feel it's important to try and make some effort to keep some normality for members that would normally come and look at the notice board, for example. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, obviously, over the last sort of few weeks, we've and, and previous months we've been in a fairly sort of stringent lockdown phase and you've been using that sort of multi-channel approach to communicate and, and keep members feeling engaged. I mean what benefits have you seen from it um, both for that engagement and also in over the sort of last couple of weeks as um, we've now got sort of new policies being communicated out to our membership? Um, so that, that's a really interesting question. I think the, the benefits we've seen are higher engagement rates, uh, better com better compliance with um, the requirements on site. Um, if members feel like they are getting the right information at the right time, um, it makes it easier for them to, to know what they're doing when they come to site. Um, that's something I'm really keen to build on. Um, and I think I think the the whole conversation around engagement is really important. You know, we, mm. at the end of the day, we want these people to renew our memberships with us, um, and we want them to feel like they've been engaged with. Um, so, so making sure, even if it's just the newsletter hitting their inbox each month, um, they've had they've had some contact with us, they've had some opportunity to give us their opinions, they've had some opportunity to engage with us, be it in in one of the online sessions, be it via sailing, um, even if it's just a friendly conversation on the phone. Um, yeah. So I think they, we, as a whole, we've, the, the engagement really is the, is the key benefit from this. Yeah, fantastic. And you talked just then, you mentioned about um, sort of the newsletters going out over email, hitting their, their uh, mailboxes. Um, what have you been doing to sort of measure the, the impact or, or actually that the tools you're using are, are working for you? Um, it's quite difficult to measure, but I mean we've we've got a couple of a couple of um, tools available to us. So within Sailing Club Manager, there is a facility to measure how many times your email has been read and whether the email has been opened. So we have been seeing higher than average success rates with mailings being opened and, and understood. Um, and also, I think one of one of the other measures is we've had a lot of 
a lot of feedback from the members, um, directly responding to points or comments within the emails or the content that's gone out on socials. Um, so we, we know that, that that message has has got through. It's been understood because we've had the comment back to us. Um, so it, it, that's quite hard to put into numbers, um, but I, I, it does feel like the the engagement rate has been high um, during this period. Whether it's because people are stuck at home and got nothing else to do and read, other than read my emails, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, you mentioned you're using Sailing Club Manager, and um, did you previously use anything like um, Mailchimp or, or any of the other platforms prior yeah, to that, or has yeah, it been completely new? Very- Absolutely. So, so Mailchimp, um, we've we've used previously in the club. That's that's really effective for getting the message out to, to different you know different areas of the membership and as a whole. Um, we, we we've used other methods in the past. It's just simply that we've consolidated into the Sailing Club Manager platform now. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. And thinking of some of the new things that you've adopted, because um, anyone that may have read the news article um, that we put together with yourselves well, quite a few weeks ago now, uh, which is still up on the uh, Northeast regional uh, web pages, it talks around the fact that you've started using Zoom for various different sessions and training activity to keep people engaged and, and adopted quite a new lot of new things. Um, what have elements of those new pieces are you going to keep doing sort of going forwards um so i think zoom has actually become a really big part of what we do now as a club um and we we very early on in the the news article you mentioned we um stumped up and we bought the pro license um so we could have the the longer sessions and the 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 bigger recording capacity within zoom um so we've we've recorded sessions with our coaches we've had some rule discussions that complement some of the excellent content that's been coming out the oas rules rules sessions on youtube Um, you know, we've, we've stored those on our club website now, so members can um, can go back and look at that. And we've had some really positive feedback on that. So we, we'll definitely be keeping the um, the Zoom aspect going. Um, and th- th- there'll probably be other things that come out of it. I mean, um, holding our committee meetings virtually um, has been yeah. successful, and we've had some really positive discussion. Um, so it might be that we look how our committee meeting structure changes in the future. Maybe we do every other committee meeting virtually. Um, or people that can't be in the room can join virtually. So I, I, I think a, a lot of what we're doing now will inform our processes in the future. Right, fantastic. And um, just thinking about um, for uh, the benefit of any clubs that are uh, sort of listening in or, or viewing viewing this, what would you recommend to them sort of moving forwards um, that potentially they could be doing to help them uh, and their members feel more engaged and communicated with? Um, so I'd recommend a, a really strong communication strategy, actually just sitting down and taking the time to work out how your message gets from your club to your member, um, looking at your social streams, look at your Facebook, look at your Twitter, your Instagram, have you got a presence, um, is there a message you can get across using those, um, I know the RYA's got certainly got some good content on using social media, We at Ripon we use Hootsuite which takes okay. a lot of the pain out of the repetitive messaging on social media. Um, looking at your website, making sure that everything's up to date, making sure members can get to the information they need to get to. Um, and one of the things we've we've picked up on, um, actually from the from one of the Northeast Development Forums, is this is this video content. Um, so going going forward, we're going to be looking at um, whether we can deliver some of our procedure updates via video yeah. to members. Um, and I think that that's going to be a really strong tool. We've already had some some really good feedback on on the potential for doing that. Yeah, I think we, we're certainly seeing a few clubs starting to use things like short YouTube videos for mm. communicating these new policy changes because there's so many of them going on at the moment, aren't there? There so, are, and I think it, it's a strong message when you've got even a, a couple of minutes video actually showing the process. Um, breaks down a lot of those barriers to actually what am I going to find when I get to the sailing club? Oh, I'm a bit bit nervous about using the power boats. But if we if we've got that on video and we can show that that's that's actually it's a really simple process and yeah. we've taken some some common sense approach to doing it with a proper risk assessment, then um, it, it breaks down a lot of those challenges for people. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jamie. Um, some really useful points there, and great to hear what. Um, 
you guys have been doing at Ripon, um, and I'm sure there'll be some takeaways for, for other clubs uh, up and down the country. Um, so thank you for your time and um, look forward to speaking to you soon. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So, so we've just heard some fantastic points uh, from Jamie the, on the things that they're doing at Ripon Sailing Club uh, to help them communicate with their existing members. Obviously, we've got a lot of policy changes that we're implementing within our clubs at the moment due to the lifting of various lockdown restrictions. So it's great to hear that uh, they're using that multi-channel approach to communicate those new policies. Tune in uh, next week for more um, sessions and videos and uh, podcasts on various different topics. Uh, remember, for all the latest information, keep in touch with the Return to Boating pages on the RYA website. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing you, hopefully, on the water in the not-too-distant future. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.